Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I want to give you an update on those tail sun uh, solar panels that I picked up from Signature Solar. So if you remember, I picked up two pallets of them and I've been really wanting to install them, but I had a few things that I needed to do first and that's what I want to show you. So as you can see, I've got a pretty big area that I'm going to be installing the panels. I'm going to have uh, 56 panels deployed kind of going across. So it's going to be three sets of panels First one's going to have two strings, the one in the middle will have three strings, and then about where I'm at right now will be another two strings. So if you look, facing this way is directly south, and I wanted to make sure that my panels were somewhat hidden um, to kind of, you know, make sure that uh, uh, they're not seen by a lot of folks. Um, it, it's kind of like the, uh, uh, the old mechanic mentality. Um, a lock on a toolbox keeps the honest people honest. So that was my thought. So I put up uh, 350 feet of fence going across and it starts kind of over here in the woods and then just goes straight across and then uh, all the way over here and it goes back into the woods a little bit and did six foot uh, cattle fence for that. And then I got privacy screen that I put all the way across for the whole length. The only thing left that I really need to do is those little openings, uh, kind of stitch those shut so that way um, they're not visible. So getting back to the solar panel. So the next thing that I'm going to need to do is uh, start putting together those eco-worthy mounts that I have and uh, start mounting all the uh, tail sun uh, solar panels. So I have been using them a little bit over at the shop. And so far, so good. The output's been extremely good. I haven't had any issues with, um, you know, uh, effects of shading really impacting the uh, the panels that much. So I've been pretty happy with them. Uh, currently, I have over there 12 panels uh, running plus the 24 175-watt uh, uh, BPs. Uh, it's a lot of power right now. Um, let me show you. I'll, I'll show you what we have set up. All right, so here's the current setup. These are the tail sun panels here. So I've got six in a row and then six in a row. Um, and it's putting out a, a decent amount of voltage for, for what that I need. I think I'm getting around 220 or so. And then I also have these uh, 24 uh, panels, which are the uh, the BPs. And all this is kind of, you know, temporary mounted. Um, eventually what I'm going to do is take these BPs and I'm actually going to mount them up on the shop going all the way across to kind of save a little bit of real estate. And then I also have some more used panels uh, that are over here that are 290 watt panels. And uh, these panels are going to kind of take up all the floor space here. Um, shop's going to be running off of just used panels, but I have more than enough to do it. But back to these uh, tail suns. Pretty happy with them thus far. I mean, the output is good. Um, they seem to put out per watt a lot more than what my BPs are. Now, granted, the BPs are quite old, but it's, it's a pretty dramatic difference between the two. I can't uh, quantify it because they're both connected to the same MPPT controller. So I really can't, you know, see the difference between the two. Um, but thus far, it's been working pretty good. And then here's all my other uh, uh, tail sun panels that are just sitting to be installed. And then the, uh, the eco-worthy mounts, they're all just kind of stacked right there for now. Um, and then to connect all this up, to cable it, which I'll have another video on that. Um, since the shop uh, is a good distance from where the panels are going uh, over there, I'd say my cable length, and I did calculations on this, I think it's around, at its farthest point, maybe 250 feet would be the, uh, the farthest connection. With that being the case, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have uh, that much of a voltage drop and kind of minimize it. So I will have 8-gauge wire 
uh, connecting these to the inverters. So once again, two strings on the far end, three strings in the middle, and then two strings on this end. Uh, the inverter that has the three strings is going to be the, um, the master inverter and then the, or, or primary, and then the secondary inverters or slaves, depending on what terminology that you want to use. I'm so used to uh, being in IT, it's, it's usually master and slave. But yeah, they're, they're all going to be put here with the eight gauge wire doing some calculations. My voltage drop is less than 3%, which is, uh, falls in line with what the NEC uh, code um, has. And that's what I'm trying to do is try to follow uh, the NEC as much as possible. And then for the ground mounts, you might be seeing all this wood here and wondering, you know, what all it's for. Um, what I did do is these are from trees that I cut down and then I took my, uh, my torch and I torched the outside of the wood to help preserve it. You can kind of see how it's all been torched. It's much darker than it was uh, initially, you can see it a little bit better on the ends, but what that will do is that will help preserve the wood so that way it doesn't rot and, um, you know, the bugs don't start uh, decomposing it. Uh, so what I'm doing with this wood is, is I have all my mounts going across, uh, the wood is going to kind of hold down, you know, the different, uh, ground mounts. So, the weight of the wood will keep it in place and it's basically, you know, free weight. I could have picked up blocks. I could have, you know, done a few different ways to anchor it down. They have some ballast, but, you know, I got, have this free resource on the property after having to clear some trees. So preserve the wood, put it to good use and uh, save some money in the process. So... The only other thing I need to do is get rid of these uh, these weeds next to the trees. They've been horrible. I got to get that done. But the fence itself turned out uh, quite nice, so I'm happy with it. So yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it with the uh, with the panels. Looking forward to uh, installing those uh, tail sun panels, getting all that up and running, and. Uh, slowly but surely getting closer and closer to getting the house off the grid. So once again, thank you for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.